Hey guys, Donnie Wright's out here. Bookmakers Review coming to you with a new edition here. And that's going to be talking a weekly update on the NFL and the offseason right here at Bookmakers Review. And in these videos, we're going to use interaction. We want to get the message board involved and have a lot of fun doing so. So let's get to it. The 2022 NFL Draft. Yeah, there were some winners and losers in this draft for sure. I have three winners here and basically in the Northeast. Number one, the New York Jets drafting Sauce Gardner, Garrett Wilson, Jermaine Johnson, and Brees Hill with their first four picks. Are you kidding me extreme talent added to the Jets and certainly made them a better football team the Philadelphia Eagles getting Jordan Davis the big tackle out of Georgia and also adding A.J. Brown from the Tennessee Titans in a first day trade first round draft pick and then adding to Kobe Dean in the third round here you got maximum coverage from the Philadelphia Eagles but let's not forget about the New York Giants who also added Kayvon Thibodeau and Evan Neal two losers in the draft for me New England Patriots Chicago Bears why you didn't help out your young quarterbacks enough here Cole Strange, an offensive guard, Patriots in the first round, really? And you're going to wait to the third round, Chicago Bears, to take Vilas Jones as a wide receiver to help out your young quarterback, Justin Fields? Two losers in the draft for sure, the Patriots and the Bears. Now, also, draft market futures. They do change from time to time. Quickly, take a look at the Philadelphia Eagles, who moved up in the process here from the draft. Why? Because they added talent and also got a very good wide receiver in A.J. Brown. Conversely, on the opposite side, the Tennessee Titans lost a very good wide receiver here and also drafted a quarterback late so maybe a changing of the guard for the Tennessee Titans here also as we take a look sneaky player team futures from the NFL draft that you want to look forward to uh, maybe the Eagles maybe the Titans as we said but how about punt god Matt Arizada from San Diego State getting drafted by the Buffalo Bills let's see how that one actually turns out somebody to keep an eye on yeah you guessed it right a punter here and also next season when you're trying to take a look at futures and maximizing value you should always take the picks before the draft because because if you anticipate a very good draft on the way for one of these football teams and also maybe a big time trade during draft day that can always impute impure, excuse me improve your future markets now also let's take a look here at the bmr message board which was popping over the weekend during the draft a lot of good stuff here big j says only really watched the first two rounds agree the jets owned the early rounds they absolutely did by adding a lot of talent in the first and second rounds here and how about this one tt warrior says i give my Steelers an f no cornerback or left tackle drafted and even wasted a draft pick on a quarterback here in the seventh round. And how about Mike Smith said, smart move by the Steelers to take Kenny Pickett with that similar vibe to Big Ben Roethlisberger, which worked out so well in the past. Guys, we're going to be doing this all off season long each week. Make sure you check out the BMR message board because we're going to involve you and make sure this is an interactive video process. I can't wait to get it started. I'm Donnie Wrightside for Bookmakers Review. And as always, good luck on those wagers.